Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Uh, let's get started. So, did you watch the Eustace trailer yet? I did. There was do, a lot of grenades you... everywhere. <laughs> There's so many grenades. Um, all I was thinking about was just like everybody has a guess on who the sixth character is, and ninety percent of those guesses are like two characters. Everybody's calling Sandalfon or Vera. Are you calling either of those? I mean, I want Vera. I'm not gonna call Vera. <laughs> I'm expecting a curveball. I don't know. I'm, I'm expecting, expecting really. I'm expecting a curveball, and then Sandalfon to start season three. I think Sandalfon to to seed season three. Well, we won't know until Rage series ends. Uh, Rage Is semis, it? I think, in June. Yeah, we got a bit. Two months. We got two months. All right, let's get started. Hello, welcome to uh, Grand Blue Radio. This is number two hundred and twenty-two. Moto's asked, Moto's asking for Mim Level or Riot. Mim Level would be an amazing character to put into a fighting game, DJ. Riding around on a turtle. Well, okay. Anyway, so where where were we? Um, so we're we just finished Unite and Fight. Um. And as part of Unite and Fight, they did the whole thing where the uncapped character came on Interval Day. And uh, did you end up using the character? Wait, what's happening now? Where, did you end up using Sochier in uh, in Unite and Fight, or did you uh, just not yes. bother? Yes, she, she actually replaced uh, Drang for me. Because with Drang, I have to press one button before I pull out a fill. It uh, uh, actually goes through for me. <laughs> nice. So, yeah, let's uh, let's talk about Sochier. We were uh, a couple hours before... Um, the Sochier five star uncapped details when we went to uh, to sleep last week, and so let's uh, let's take a look at what they gave her. So one of the things that we were complaining about was her mist, where her mist just used to be so so inaccurate. <laughs> and hey, they fixed it. Yeah, it went from eighty percent to eight uh, to one hundred percent. Yeah, so the. They did a rebalance first, and then they did this. And then, along with that, she also gets 20% debuff resistance down. At level 100. At a level 100, admittedly. Um, and also, also at level 100, you get this whole stacking attack down defense down. 20%. Max. Pretty nice. Um, they didn't... Uh, they, they also buffed her slow to give Fox Flame. So, now she does the... Um, the, the fox thing, you know, just uh, HP Lord every turn, slight a chance for attacks to miss, and then special effects whenever somebody has fox flame. So in her case, you get 20% double attack, 10% triple attack, and 10% meter when swinging at something with fox flame. Uh, no, no, that they, I believe it, it has in parentheses, it only attacks, it applies to normal attacks for that. Yes. <laughs> Hey, my alerts work again. Thank you for the uh, sub heatsink. Anyway, so yeah, nightmare, um, like nightmare stuff did pretty well with uh, just these changes. Honestly, like the other parts, they were important, but like e with with just these two changes, it was enough to like put her on a team for a while. Uh, but yeah, they they changed so much more than that. So remember how she used to have to ca in order to actually cast an AoE heal. Yes. And it was a dispellable buff on her. God. It feels like it was forever ago. It was actually seven days ago. <laughs> but yeah, so now she uh, gets a special effect that uh, on her CA that casts her skill uh, skill one heal on an enemy effect, uh, on an enemy like special attack. It gives... Is the Revitalize natural to it now? It is. It, it's always AoE. That's the balance update. It uh, gives 10% chaser uh, like it used yeah, that to. That part didn't change. That part didn't change. The part where it's always AoE is still there. And then, yeah. Like, this, this package right here made her great for full auto. And then when you, uh, when you five star her, she also gets a mirror image to everybody. Um, when she CAs, which is also crazy for full auto. 
It didn't help us with, against Horus, sadly. It really didn't help us against Horus. Horus does aliados, but like this character now does uh, really silly things to Wilness because of this change here, the CA one. It's good. You know, not everything has to be good against, uh, specifically good against red hair. I mean, you only fight red hair once, so. Yeah. So anyway, that's... Uh, we, we also have our new uh, support effect, uh, effect as well. The new support effect where it used to be, what was it, double attack up to everybody? Boost to DA. Doesn't Ooh. say to everybody, just says boost to DA. Ooh. Oh, boy. Oh, I mean, boy. you also had that too, remember? Yeah, yeah. And now she just playing gives you meter when uh, the enemy uses a special attack. Twenty uh, percent uh, only happens once per turn. But still, like once again, you go back to Willness. Willness does something like heat ray. Mirror image eats it. You gain twenty meter. That accelerates you by one or two turns, so that you can get mirror image again to eat the next heat ray or magma chamber or you know, like this. I'm I'm gonna go back to Willness for a while. Uh, because Wilness is one of the higher um, pieces of uh, high difficulty fire content. It's like that and, uh, and Shiva. And she also messes a lot with Shiva with this mirror image. So, you know, it's a good it's a good thing to have, even if uh, red hair ate right through it. Yeah, she's, she's a really solid character now. I'm glad. She deserves <laughs> it. After going from being a bad character, yeah, she deserves it. Yeah. Like, she's not going to change the way that you play, necessarily. She doesn't do anything unique. She, Like, basically, you have, you know, you can choose between her and Lily, right? And she's the offensive both. version, and Lily's the defensive version. And there you go. That's all you need. I'm happy with this. Uh, Let's see here. The main question that I have against like uh, things like Wilderness is there's too many characters that are good against Wilderness now, so I just keep having to filter through. So right now I'm playing with like Isaac, Socie, and uh, Dog. I think are my anti Wilderness team at the um, at the current juncture of time right now. And then I'll switch things in and out as I uh, as I feel like. It's good to have options. All right. Yeah. Uh, anything else to say about Socie? No. All right. So. The main topic we're going to be talking about today is going to be the shop because a lot of changes came into the shop. Um, it was, let's see, uh, April 9th we were talking about it. So the first one, um, and this is something that we kind of knew about, but we didn't know exactly how it was going to be implemented. So the daily stock of flawed prisms, like the flawless prism into flawed prism trade is no longer daily you used to get 15 a day and you would co go in and you if you missed out on 15 of them that day then you would just it would be gone forever felt horrible now you get 480 of these a month and 480 divided that by 15 that's 32 so um, in February, you get four extra days of it. In every other month, you get like one or two extra days of it. How much of an improvement do you think this is? Uh, I used to forget sometimes to do this daily. So I kind of like this. Um, saying. From my perspective, like here I am with, you know, 27,000 um, flawed prisms. And next month, I'll get you know, 480 times, well, hold on, 480 times 75, not 75, 480 times 5, isn't it? Yeah, it's times 5. 2,400. So next month, I'll have enough for three, four um, eternal uncaps. And that's something that I don't have to just log in every day and go, did I trade my prisms yet? Did I trade my prisms yet? Did I trade my prisms yet? And so just that peace of mind alone takes away a lot of the drudgery of like logging into GBF every day. Were there any other um, shop changes that you would like to uh, point out that uh, were as important or at least even on the same level as fraud, flawed prisms? I don't even remember because that's the main one I have to trade for. Yeah. Everything else, I, I'm like, oh, I just have these already. 
I'm gonna look just in case um, for things that necessarily affect us. It's just like, yeah, we're we're, we're kind of like the higher end, so. <laughs> so, um, in terms of people who are just getting their dragon weapons, this was really important. Like, this month has been huge for getting people the six dragon weapon stuff. One, like, the guarantee that you get a wham, this is Kinidocyte. Um, from just doing wham, this a hundred times. And then only needing 50 wham, this, like, is it jewels or totestreebs for the weapon? Or not, is it totestreeb? I think it's the, I think it's the, not, not, not the Toto one Streep. that you always get from every raid. Yeah, it's Abyssal the Tragedy, that's Jared. the one. But yeah, um, the Huanglong and Keelan anima, in order to, um, you, like, you turn all of those really useless uh, talismans into reams, which then turn into anima, is also really important for people who are, you know, a little bit, uh, like, into the part where they're trying to catch up and trying to, like, make their seraphic weapons. That's pretty huge. Yeah. Uh, I could buy whorls. I need a lot of worlds, though. I I know, <laughs> I know. Uh, then th so here's the thing that ma has me thinking about this whole um, prism trade as well, because they did one thing that uh, does not have a monthly um, cap, and that's for cerulean stone trade. So you know all of these free rules they've been giving away. I have 2,830 cerulean stones. If I get real, real invested in this, then I can trade 50 of these, uh, let's see, 56 times. Wait, more than 56, 560 times. Wait, more than that. Oh my god, I can actually trade these 2,830 times times 3. Sorry for my brain being off today. And I can okay, turn these into 8,500 flawed prisms if I really, really need to. That's worth one, one level 110 eternal. <laughs> so. I mean, this used to not exist, if I remember correctly. It didn't. It, it, this is, that's all, it's all new. So I've been thinking about it. It's like, you know what? I, I consider that a plus. Huh. All right. The other thing that we want to talk about in the shop, then, uh, it's another time gate because we're gonna we, the way that we are and where we are. We're sort of framing these things in like six star eternals, DJ. Mm-hmm. Did you buy the uh, lapis merit? I haven't bought it yet because I don't know what else I need. So, how many valor badges are you actually sitting on? Uh, let me double check. Because I have 970, and that's after I bought the um, Sunlight Stone and the Lapis Merit here. I think I'm around the same amount. Let me check. And I didn't buy anything yet, though. Right, because we're both in that stage where we actually don't need this uh, Evil Light anymore. I am at 871. I do, I do still need uh, Gold Bricks, though. Mm-hmm. But, you know, sometimes I get lucky and get to drop. But that's also me just being... Fighting everything. Right. And so... Like, we were talking about this thing being a gate. And, like, we didn't actually understand how much of a gate this was going to be. Because previously we got sort of the guesstimate from uh, the director and the producer that there's going to be six Unite and Fights and um, three Dread Barrages a year. And there, every time there's going to be a Unite and Fight, uh, then they are going to add one of these Lapis Merits to the shop. So as of now, April 2021, we can get one of these. So one Eternal can be six starred. And then here's the issue at hand. Like this is the second Unite and Fight of the year, right? We had one in January. We skipped February. We skipped March. Correct. We're skipping May, and we're getting a Dread Barrage in June, and then we're, July is the next Unite and Fight. In terms of player burnout, 
This is probably great. In terms of trying to progress along that track of Eternal Six Stars, I have questions. I feel like there's going to be another, just another one, uh, another merit you need to use for, for a, a single character. Because, like, July is the seventh month of the year, and it'll be our third Unite and Fight. So if they want to get that kind of schedule out there, um, then they'd need to do th three more in five months. That's not so bad, then, but it's a little packed. We don't want them to touch December, though. Right, we don't want them to have it in December. And so that's essentially three more in four months, and I don't know about this. I don't know about that, man. I don't know. We might be missing the United fights this year at this rate. And then the other thing is that, like, it doesn't just affect Six Star Eternals. Um, the Unite and Fight, like, constriction affects New World Foundation stuff. Like, did you pick New World, New World Quartz this time around? Yes, I did, because I need those. I do, <laughs> Once too. Once I found out that they are immediately needed. Because it's just like, uh, New World Foundation. I have 46 of these, right? And that's after I picked up for my 45 from Unite and Fight. These 46 are the only 46 that I'm going to have until July. I don't know how I feel about that because, all right, let's just say that I have 46 of these. And let's just say that I'm going to uncap. Just let's take a look at just any New World Foundations here. What if in Dread Barrage we can get New World Foundation? I would freaking love that. That's I, my hope at this point. I don't know if they're going to do that, though. Because Dread Barrage is a catch-up thing, kind of, right? Where it's just like, I currently have 40 certificates to trade in for whatever weapon I want. Because I don't need to trade in for weapons anymore. Um, and so if I could get even further ahead on New World Quartz, then that would change like the, the pace at which I get these things. Because it's like, like I said... I started Unite and Fight at one New World Quartz left. Right now, this moment, I am 23 Devil Ideans away from finishing my Kiss of the Devil. And then from there, another 70 from getting Frau's Domain and finishing it. Mm -hmm. That'll take up 20 of my New World Quartz. I will have 26 left. I With those 26, I can either uncap the reflection of the moon one step or finish a shooting of the star here like just looking at what I personally have and then I'll be stuck for the rest of them and so like the whole thing about being on pace to finish about one every two months it'll be technically true but I'll still feel like I'm behind. And it's just like, I really wish I could use these quartz on like buying Ideans right now to speed this part up. It's what, one quartz equals two Ideans, was it? Is that how that works? Let me take a look again. It's around I wish somewhere. I could buy Ideans with other resources. Where are they? Where, where are these freaking uh, New World Quartz trades? If you, anybody in chat knows, it's just like, it's two Ideans or four Astras? Yeah. Ugh, ugh. Ugh, anyway. So, that's, you know, not even counting the fact that I might at some point want to buy one of these other five New World Foundation weapons to start working on a different domain. And so anyway, this is a concern. This is a concern for me going, I really want to know what the plan is and like the roadmap is for other sources of um, New World Quartz. Because we were saying this for a while, like one of the problems with Unite and Fight is that too many rewards were wrapped up into it. And now we haven't changed the problem. We So we, we offloaded a lot of that problem onto Dread Barrage. And it's like, good. There's things that people can do that aren't Unite and Fight that give you a lot of the rewards for Unite and Fight with a lot less work. 
And now there's just more. They were like, "All right, we need more to put more things on the night and fight." And that's that's my issue. Yeah. Well, now we're at the, we're also at the problem of there's not many ways to get new world cords because you you the amount you get from Arkham Shop and from uh, Replicard Sandbox is finite. So they did say that Replicard Sandbox is expanding by the end of the year. The problem is that that's the end of the year. We have eight months of it until the end of the year. We have a long time to go until the end of the year in, in Replicard Sandbox expanding, and so it's just yeah, we're I'm I'm stuck. Like, I'm going to finish the Kiss of the Devil. I guess by default I'll finish the Shooting of the Star and then hold off on like any other New World Foundation weapon until whatever Unite and Fight. Uh, until well, okay, July I'll be able to start up a project again. And the rest of it will just be sort of accumulating resources and waiting for New World Courts to come in. <laughs> anyway. Ugh. I'm just be called a dying right now. <laughs> like, so that's my timeline. What's your timeline look like on, like, uh, on New World Courts, where you're going to be using them, and how this three-month gap affects you? Uh, it depends on what the last step for, for certain things are, but currently it's getting a little frow regardless first, mm -hmm. and then whatever happens, happens. Do you have enough to finish frow right now with the New World Court, New World Courts? I'm on the same step that you are. Okay. So you do have enough then. And then after that, do you have enough to go to any other step and like get to the end of a domain for another evoker? Uh, I'll think about that later. Yeah, that's fair. Huh. So yeah, um, I'm just I'm just sitting here and I'm hoping that, just like Arca points are a huge um, barrier to your uh, Arcarum progression at the beginning, and you know they've they've had a f quite a few release valves for that with Arca points and Sephira stones and stuff like that, like Arca points. You get 30,000 of them every time there's a rerun like this uh, Welcome to Bistro Feindrache. Um, Sephira Stones, they come in like a trickle, you know? They they uh, give you yeah, a like few... Yeah, each event. Yeah, every time there's a new event, they just give you some. And so, like, Ideans is kind of the last frontier on that one. Like, Astra's they've started giving out more of. Uh, Ideans, Ideans can drop from the Leprechaun Sandbox. Can is the biggest word. Here. So... I have spent the last 48 hours hitting one bird, one bird <laughs> in um, Replicard Sandbox. You see this, see this Blazing Everwing? This Blazing Everwing is my friend. Here, let me show you how many times that I've hit this Blazing Everwing. So, um... Oh, I, I, I know because I also fight this same fight. Hey, look! Would you... All right, we're, we're comparing, we're comparing. I'm going to click on the glider right now. I have 111 Letio organs. You're more than me. Hold on, let me check. <laughs> That's how often I've been hitting this one bird. <laughs> and you know, like I'm, I'm at peace with it. This is full auto stuff. This isn't something that I'm like uh, begrudgingly doing. This is something I sort of set. Oh wait, no, I, I have more than you. Oh, you have more than me? I have 141. <laughs> 141? But yeah, I've gotten seven IDs from this in the last 48 hours. And I mean, oh well. It's, uh... I mean, that's, that's technically more than you get into in uh, two Arcarum runs. Exactly. Like this is still more than I would normally get in eighteen days of Arcarum. Um, the replica drop rates are so bad that it borders on a joke. I, the thing is, this is on purpose. I am, like, if I, I had gotten it. like a couple hundred Ideans at this point, then it would just, I wouldn't have anything to 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 work for. I would be out of stuff to get, to look for. Ideans are, you know, you, you, this stuff is meant to be a trickle. Like, I get a lot of Astras off of Replicard Sandbox. I get a pretty good number of Hazes and even a decent number of, like, um, Path Fragments. Yeah, I need those. Yeah, thank you for dropping that Replicard. Yeah. Um, I think the only thing that um, Replicard doesn't give you is Hazes. And, um, like, it gives you a very low number of Ideans, and that very low I uh, number of Ideans is definitely by design. They don't want people to just 
not have anything to do anymore. Because like, like I it's said, supposed to expand. There's supposed to be like what two more weapon slots that will open up later. Theoretically. Maybe they'll add more missions when they expand it. Oh, them! Uh, they definitely will add more missions. They're gonna add more missions. They're gonna add more guidebooks. Um, I think they're gonna add. They said that they're going to add another page to the guidebook too, because right now we're on two pages, and so you just more missions means more expansions to these books. But yeah, I mean, this is this is where we are in our stage of the game. You know, we're we're hitting uh, a bunch of the high end raids. Uh, Belial is coming on the horizon to keep us entertained for a while, um, and um, we're, we're hitting sandbox. We're hitting sandbox, hitting uh, getting Idians, waiting for uh, waiting for that trickle to turn into a um, into a domain. Uh, I personally think that all of this uh, will be worth it once Frau can you know CA and do. How how much does an Indominus do for you, DJ? Which one's that one? The, Indominus that skill three. A lot. Yeah, and then she just she just does it every time she CAs. It's just like, all right. Just See, her, her... That thing also has a pretty short cooldown in the first place. True. But, five stars, I think. You know, you just give it the clincher. Just every time she CAs, just do it again. I think it'll be yeah, worth Cl it Cl at the end. Cl clincher's kind of ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, it is. And you know you spent a whole lot of uh, time and investment on uh, getting your Toyan to level one ten too, so you know it's the, kind of that same that same sense, which makes me still wonder about some of the domains being like not flashy, but oh well, I'm sure they'll get back to it at some point. No, hey, that's for that's for future us to to figure out. That is for future us to figure out, for, but current us is still staring out three months at the next unite and fight going. You know this. I never thought I'd say this, and I'm still not saying this outright, but it's just like, <laughs> I kind of want a little bit more Unite and Fight. It's like, no, no, I don't. I don't. I don't. And then the Monkey Paw closes, and then there's only Unite Fights once <laughs> and, a month. Then KMR just is like, ah, oh, I, I heard that, you know. It's like, oh, no, 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 no. I mean, what, we get like, what, in Princess Game, we get like Clan Battle every month. But clan battle also you limit it yourself to three times a day, so that's not the same. Oh, I I can't believe I even said those words, even with the disclaimer before and after. <laughs> but like I said, like it's it's that problem where they put so many good rewards there and. I really want them to do another offloading into a, you know, maybe another event type. Maybe they created, like, we've gotten our tower. Maybe they put them in the tower. Oh, man. I'm trying to remember that stupid event in Cinderella Girls, the caravan or something. <laughs> the caravan? Where you just have to, it gives you, like, a set of um, bosses in a row. And you're like, all yeah. right. <laughs> what if, what if GBF had a Cinderella caravan? It's like, all right, you're fighting Shiva. And then you're fighting, um, it's like, would it be multiple elements? I guess so. It's like you're fighting Shiva, then you're fighting um, Tiamat Malice, and then you're fighting, uh, let's say, not Bales above. that wouldn't be fun, like Avatar or something. You get three teams. That'd be funny. That would be pretty funny. I don't know if it would be as any I don't know what they could do to make it interesting beyond just saying that you get to just run these three bosses. <laughs> like I mean Caravan's not that interesting to me in the first place, so That's also Games true. Early girls. I actually hate Caravan because it doesn't let me choose the songs that I want. Yep, same. <laughs> Alright, you know what? We're not we're there's a we're, reason that we're not This is why we're not designers of this game. We are not okay? game designers. <laughs> All right. So anyway, we'll uh, we'll talk about this again. I'm sure between now and July. And uh, yeah, until then, let's see. Next week we have oh, Gold Knight will be out next week. Oh. I'm actually I'm actually looking forward to that fight. 
as long as I can I can bring uh some to shoot moose that's all I want. <laughs> How would they prevent you from using moose Would it just be one of those like per hit? Um, reflects. Reflects. Yeah, I guess that would be how you uh, prevent the use of the mo uh, the moose isles. I don't know. For balancing against wind, you have to balance against Urias half the time, anyways. And you can't really balance against Urias, so I don't know what they would do for this fight. I don't know. I'm interested in seeing what they do. Um, oh wait, I know what he can do. All right, you can't dispel her debuffs. I mean her buffs. I mean, that is a mechanic on the actual Golden Knight. Oh my god. That would be so obnoxious. I love it. Look, we want obnoxious, but at, at least fair. We don't. We really don't want what, what happened at the beginning of these fights, remember? Uh, no one ever wants another Gilbert. That was uh, obnoxious and not fair, and I hated it, and uh, thank god we have a turn counter now. It took me... Uh, three months to actually just want to do that fight again. I, I could beat it, I just didn't want to. I could beat it too right now. I have all the tools. I don't want to fight that guy right now. Mm -hmm. Um, What else is coming on the 22nd? So there we've got, we'll have uh, a preview of Proving Grounds next week. It will not have started yet. So, whatever. I feel like that's everything this month, Tom. I know, just we're gonna miss it by hours. <laughs> we'll have triple zero in side stories probably, but yeah, that's it. Well, we, maybe we'll have uh, five and six uh, uncaps by then. Maybe not. They haven't said one way or another. Maybe we'll have our one twenty one thirty uh, available as well. Uh, not the one twenty one thirty. You know what I mean? Actually, yeah, that was right. One twenty one thirty. Yeah, one twenty, one thirty. We might be able to talk about it. Maybe we'll be. We'll have to wait until the end of the month. Maybe we'll have to. We're off by day again. <laughs> Yay! Thanks for having a set schedule. All right, that's enough of grumbling. Uh, this this episode where we just talked about um, the shop for a day. Um. Thanks for joining me, DJ. Anytime. What do you think are the odds that in like ninety minutes we get info on? Uh, the next the next layer of transcendence for eternals low or high uh well you asked me for odds so i was gonna say 50 percent because it was gonna be yes or no but... <laughs> <laughs> uh low all right that's fair all right anyway thanks everyone for joining us we'll be back next week we'll be covering all of those things uh i'll still be at the exact same number of new world courts as before <laughs> that won't change for another three months all right have a good one, everyone. Later. Let's go watch. Wow, I'm tired of talking about everything Psy Games. Psy Games. So we're going to watch something that's Psy Games related. Let's watch Zombie Land Saga. Oh, who makes that, DJ? Uh, well, Studio Mappa is pretty good. Actually. Yeah, who pays but, for it? Uh, Psy Games. <laughs> we're such shills. What happened to us? What do you mean, what happened to us? It's been this way for the past three years. Oh, yeah.